So this is my new fractionating column I bought. Thought I'd make another video on how to distill with the fractionating column. Right now it's just getting warmed up, so I'll, I'll be back when it's about to uh, start producing. Okay, so now we're up to temperature. Sorry if my voice sounds weird, I'm wearing a respirator. It took a little while for the vapors to get up that fractionating column because it's pretty long. I had to wrap some tin foil around it to make it uh, not lose heat as much. I got my heating mantle on high. I added 180 grams of potassium nitrate and 180 grams of sulfuric acid. So we'll get a little closer and I'll show you this. The fumes are starting to build, condense. So I'll be back in a little bit. So as you can see here, the NO2 fumes are starting to subside. Pretty soon we'll be getting some nice clean nitric acid. There's the first bit that's a little uh, that's the NO2 build up in it. With this fractionating column, you can see here that most of all the condensing has been done in this column, and it's not even really condensing in the tube. This column is doing most of the work already. I kind of like that. I never used this before, so see how that goes. I'm finally getting some drips in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dripping away. <laughs> I broke my vacuum adapter, so I had to tape it up with Teflon until I get my new one ordered in. I got it ordered right now, so... Anyways, we'll be back in a little bit. So you can see the steady drips coming down my condenser there. You can see it refluxing the way it's supposed to be doing it with the fractionating column. I've noticed with this column that there's a lot better quality acid. It's a lot cleaner looking. There's my broken vacuum adapter. I can't try my vacuum distillation until I get my replacement part in. I got everything else ready, so I just need the part. Probably in a week or two I'll have it. Now you can see the acid starting to change to a clearer color. It's a little more yellow than clear, but it's a lot better than red. That's probably because of the fractionating column. I'm getting a better quality acid out of this, it seems. A little clearer. For my first time using this column, it turned out pretty good, I think. There's the acid I got so far. It's 
now that we got towards the end there, it's cleared up to about a white fuming nitric acid. It's really clear. You can see by the color that it's not going to be white because it's just all mixed into one bottle. I don't, I'm not too worried about having white or red, it doesn't really matter to me, so I just let it all go into one collection glass. You can tell it's a little clearer this time that I used the fractionating column. I think I'm basically done now. The drops have started to uh, stop, so I'm going to turn the heat off. On my heating mantle. There, let it cool down, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so there's my finished product. Some nitric acid there, you can see it. It's pretty damn strong. You can see the fumes coming off of it. You can even see that. I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but you can see the fumes coming off of the... No, you can't really see it. Oh well. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.